Now the goal of this video is to show you how to calculate the market share. The market share is a very simple concept to understand, but it's a little trickier to calculate, especially in Canada. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, the market share is the size of your business relative to the size of the industry. So there are two broad ways of calculating your market share, and I'm going to show you how to do both. So first of all, you have to figure out what is the revenue of your business or how much money you're making in. That's pretty easy because we get that from SME Benchmarking, a database that I showed you already. Now the bottom part is the tricky part. If you're catering to consumers, you want to see how much consumers are spending in the area in which your business is going to operate. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. If you're catering to other businesses, like a manufacturing company or a services company, like an accounting firm or an advertising firm, then you have to see how much money all your competitors are doing, right? So the idea is that the total spending or the total uh, revenues constitutes the size of the market, you know, that's the size of the pie, and then your firm is your slice of that pie. And so the market share is your slice of the pie compared to the total size of the pie. Specifically, this entails looking at, for consumers, their average spending, right, in Quebec, for example, and then looking at the total number of consumers in the area for your business. Okay, and we'll talk about that in a second. But essentially, it means going to, for the average spending, going to the CanSim system from Statistics Canada, and for the total number of consumers, you, you have to look at the census of Canada and then multiplying the two. For competitors, you have to look at their total revenue and the total number of competitors and both those figures you get from CanSim, from Statistics Canada. So we'll be going deep into CanSim and SME benchmarking and showing you how to do these two examples. All right. So first of all, let's take a look at uh, an example of a store, a pet store specifically. And I'm going to go th quickly through the steps of finding all these databases because there are specific videos about e each one of them. But the first step is to get your industry code from the business research page here at the library. And then you find your industry code for pet and pet supply stores, 45391. Then you go back to the library page, right? And then you go here to SME Benchmarking Tool. Right, and then you find the report for uh, pet and pet supply stores. And so here you have your report, and I'll use them. As, and, and so that's the first step. So that's to see how big your business is. So this one has all incorporated pet stores in Quebec. And uh, let's just say that I'm going to take the bottom quartile figure as my revenue for my pet store because I want to start a small pet store. It's going to be small, like a, you know the smallest kind. And so I'm going to assume that my total revenue is going to be $130,000. That's the top part of the equation. That's the easy part. Your entrepreneur uh, may be reluctant to give you this information, but you can est estimate it using this report from SME Benchmarking. Okay, so that's the easy part. Now let's get into the harder part. Let's calculate uh, what is the average revenue, uh, what is the average spending from a household. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into CanSim and I'm going to search for household spending. And remember on the business sheet that you have the four pager to research a business plan under step six, little two, you have the different uh, uh, phrases that I would search in Cansom, so that's what I'm using, uh, household spending, so I'm going to hit search. And so in this case you have a whole different set of options, but I personally like this one, the detailed household final consumption expenditure, right? So that's what I'm going to use, and I'm going to click here on this uh, table number to generate, uh, to generate the result set. Detailed household final consumption expenditure, right? And it gives me a whole set of numbers. These, this is what Canadians are spending their money on. Now, I don't want it for Canada. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up and I'm going to click here on add remove data. That's what you want to do. Always click on add remove data when you're in CanSim, whenever you're viewing data from CanSim. Because here, for example, you could select different 
different variables for your result set. So first of all, I don't want all provinces. My pet store is going to be in Quebec, so I want Quebec. And then I'm not going to worry about this. Uh, I also don't want all the uh, all the uh, possible options here because this is this is a whole list of stuff Canadians spent money on. But I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to go through this list really quickly, and I'm going to look for pet spending. Anything that has to do. There we go. There it is. So I'm just going to add here pets and pet food. Eh, let's add vets for fun, right? And other pet services. And I think that's about it, right? In terms of what would be useful for my project. So, and then I can, I can I'll leave this a couple of years worth of data and I'm going to hit apply. And so I see here that in millions of dollars, the total spending on pets and pet food for Quebec. Now you're going to say, wait a minute, I can't necessarily use this figure. It's huge. I mean, that's for the whole province. I wanted to bring it down to a reasonable level, which is, you know, Vaudreuil, which is, you know, a city where I want to open up my pet store or a neighborhood of Montreal. Good point. That's actually very astute. So we could do a few things at this point. We could get the total population of Quebec right which is easy through the census of Canada which is actually I'll show you that in a second and divide this total figure by the total population of Quebec and then multiply it by whatever the population is of the neighborhood where you want to start your business okay so that's one way of doing it another way of doing it is going back to the uh, search results okay because there's actually a whole bunch of other options and here I have for example um, the average household spending. This is another figure that I could use, right? So if I click here on this statistical series and I click on add remove data, right? I could get the average expenditure for Quebec and um, on specific things, for example, let's do all and then remove everything. So what I may want to do is click here and find the ones that have to do with pet expenses. There we go. Let me get all of that information for a couple of years and apply that. Now in this case, I'm looking at dollars. I'm looking at the average household expenditure for pet expenses, okay? So this is another way of getting this figure, basically shifting it around uh, instead of getting the total consumption figure for the whole province, in this case, I have a household expenditure. So I need to figure out how many households there are in my neighborhood where my pets, pet store owner, where my owners of pets will come and consume. Okay. So for that part, okay. So either you use the detailed expenditure, which give you for the whole province, then you, you, calculate your own average and then you multiply by the total number of people or you just get the uh, the household expenditure and figure out the total number of households average household expenditure so for the number of households I go to the census of Canada and I'm going to use the data products and specifically the census profile now one thing that I can do here which is really cool is I can look for a specific postal code and um, I'm actually going to try to open up my pet store next to this kennel, this pet hotel called Hotel Balto here in Vaudreuil d'Orient. So I'm going to copy their postal code into the census profile and I want to get a profile of the neighborhood around this kennel, this pet hotel. And so what I could do here is I have different levels of re reporting and uh, the most granular one is the census track, right? So I just want to show you how precise this data can be. And if you look at the map, it's actually this area of Vaudreuil d'Orient. Now it seems like huge, but there's actually a golf course here, so I'm, you know, don't worry about that. Point is that uh, the kennel is about here, so you wanna you wanna check out uh, the statistics for this neighborhood. And notice that census tracts have number, and if you want, you can add a whole bunch of different numbers around to get a profile of how many people live here. So if I click on the census track, I see, for example, that in this specific census track, there are private dwellings occupied by usual residents. I'll use that as a proxy for number of households, which is about 3,300 people, right? Or if I hit back, you know what? I could say uh, probably the federal electoral district is big is a pretty good surrogate for uh, how you know where people are going to come from. Or maybe I just want to keep it at the at the city level, right? 
where I want the, uh, where's the city? There we go. That's the ville, so the city, right? And if I look at the map, I have here the map that I want. So maybe, you know, it's not perfect because people over here, all the way over here, may not drive down to my pet store. But again, you're just trying to get an estimate of how many people are going to come. And for this one, we have the total private dwellings occupied by usual residents, right, is about 13,000. So I would multiply 13,000 occupied dwellings multiplied by the average household expenditure, which is 441. Multiplying those two numbers would give me the consumer, the denominator. Okay, so I would divide $130,000, which is the top part, which is the revenue of my business from SME and benchmarking, and divide that by the average spending at $441 multiplied by the total number of households, which is about 13,000, okay? And that would give me my market share for my pet store, okay? So that's the example for the pet store. Now let's do it for, let's do it for the, uh, uh, maybe a, 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 another type of business which caters to other businesses. Uh, so let's do an advertising firm, okay? Because advertising, I mean, households don't usually buy advertising. So it's businesses that buy advertising. So it's a little bit more, it's a little bit different to calculate it. And let me show you how I would do that one, which is a different example, okay? So again here, I would start from the library website and I would get the uh, Nikes codes, right, for advertising. And I've done just that. There it is. Boom. 54181. The next step would then be to generate the benchmarking tool for uh, the SME benchmarking report for advertising. And here I have, we have 817 advertising firms and we have about half a million dollar Per Actually, you know what? You may say, wait a minute, it's right there, Olivier. Why, why are you going anywhere else? Well, the problem with this multiplying these two figures to get your whole industry is that you're only looking at advertising firms with $5 million or less. So if you just want to have the market for, for the small advertising firms and, and use that as your basis, well, you can because, you know, if you say, oh, I'm not going to compete with the big guys, I, I'm going to exclude them from my market environment. Uh, and then you're done. You can actually just use this report to calculate the total market size because you would multiply the total number of advertising firms in your industry, which is 817, and multiply that by the average total revenue for an advertising firm. And that would cover you, that would cover, cover you here, average revenue times total number of companies. But, you know, I know you may want to have the, you know, the, you may want to have the, the, the exact figure for the total industry. And let me show you how to do that. Now you can go to Cansim to obtain the total operating revenue from a firm in any market. And actually, all you need to do is to find the right statistical series. Now, here's a little tip. If you browse down, notice that you have the survey, the list of surveys that StatsCan has, and they actually produce an annual survey of most major industries. Look at this list here. It's all here, automotive, real estate, periodical publishers, customer good retail. You could you could go through this annual survey list and find whatever industry you're engaged in and try to and, and obtain the uh, uh, operating expenses of a firm. Another way of doing it is under the subject term, okay? You could look under the different places where they're hidden because they're actually distributed in a few other places. For example, here under business, consumer and property services, that's where you would have advertising firms and other types of consumer firms. You also have here, if you want, you know, radio stations and, and book publishers and magazine publishers, you have here under information and communication technology, you have under manufacturing. Uh, essentially, what you want to do is go through these different sections and try to find the, the, the categories for operating expenses. So for my advertising company, because it's a business service, I would click here and I'm just going to go here under professional, scientific and technical services. Now, notice this heading. Notice this heading is exactly the same as the Nikes code, the higher level Nikes code for this industry. OK, so that's where that's how you figure it out. If you click here, then you get 32 tables. Do a control F on advertising. And there it is. That's the name of the heading of the Nikes code. And then I hit on this category. 
And I know that for Canada, for advertising private quotations and related services, this is not exactly the figure I want. So I'm going to go to add remove data and I'm going to tell the system to give me the figure for Quebec, right? And only advertising companies, which is right here, advertising agencies. And I'm going to hit on apply. Now, the pr there it is. That's about a little under $700 million. Now, if you compare that to the benchmarking report, right, from the SME benchmarking page, if you multiply 817 companies times about half a million dollars each in revenue, the total comes down to about a little under half a billion dollars. So you're actually looking at maybe, you know, uh, 250 to 300 million dollars more by looking at the bigger guys. So that's giving you an idea of the spread of the revenue that's missing out from the small guys in the industry and the super big guys, right? So that's another way of calculating the total market size because you have it right there, the total operating revenue for all advertising agencies in Quebec from StatsCan, boom, it's right there. So the point here is if you go to CanSim, uh, you, and, and you could look at these different sections here. For example, in the manufacturing sector, you have uh, general manufacturing tables, right? And here you have uh, principal statistics. That's where you would find the equivalent statistic for StatsCan. And so you would need to go to add remove data and pick the right region of the country that you want. So for example, Quebec. Right, you have them all here by six digit Nix code, whatever you want, you have them here, and then you can generate tables for that. So, the point is that to get the market share, you can actually get it very precise to the specific industry code you want from CanSim if you know how to look for these statistics. So, that tells you that gives you the sources of how to calculate your market share and uh, include that in your business plan.